Today was the commemoration of the Dusit D2 complex attack. Journalists paid a visit to the complex one year later but the management resorted not to comment on the matter. However, witnesses were willing to share their side of the story. A day like any, Rosalind Chilande woke up in the morning to prepare herself to go to work. The 34-year-old and a single mother of two children, a boy and a girl, had been working at the Ducid D2 complex as a car park site supervisor for Cups Limited. She had been working at the complex for over nine years, but little did she know that the day will take a turn for the worse. Later in the day, the Ducid D2 complex was under attack by Al Shabaab militant, and Rosalind recounts the day with the pain still evident in her eyes. So I left the office with a key and that small phone in hand. Nikaenda Saile, she was looking for the thousands to give me a day change kwa bank. I had an explosion. So we were like, hmm, nini ye melipuka? The leader kaniambia, ama ni gas, chui metokea karibu na secret garden. I told her, iyo si gas, kwa sababu iyo sauti ni kubwa sana. Then I was like, hmm, nambona buildings in a shake, vio zina anguka. Then I was like, hey, Ann, ni kama bomu imelipuka. Na kasema, ay, bomu imetoka wapi. In out, kuangalia kwa entry, I saw four men coming in, wearing black. They were carrying guns. Then kasema, wa, Ann, awa sini wa watu, wakuwa watu, ni maali shababa ama ni nini? Then it was Kokimbia. During the horrific incident, Rosaline was shot on her left leg and she had to crawl her way to safety. Then suddenly nikasikia kwa mgu wangu from behind kitume ni chapa mgu. Nikaanguka chini. Si kujua ni nini me happen. Nilianguka tu. Kwa muka tena nianze mbio kuinua mgu nikaona mgu wa yuezi. Kanyaga. Nika rudi chini. Nilipo rudi chini. Nika inua juu hivi kuangalia nika kuta. Nikuwe mevunjika. I was like, I'm finished. Because they were coming behind me. And I was like, I'm already going to get out of my head. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm going to get out of my head. And then, I was like, I'm going to get out of the building. I was like, I'm going to get out of the building. I was like, I'm going to get out of the building. The people who are going to get out of the building, they are going to get out of the building. There's nothing I can do. So, Nilijivu tutachini na tumbo pande moja this side because mgu ilikuwa imevunjika what i did nilijaribu kuinua nikawekelea juu ya ingine sana nikalala na upande nikawa najivuruta na chini mpaka nilipopata mahali naweza chificha vizuri the incident left her lying at the avenue hospital for 10 days as her bill accumulated to roughly 800,000 although it was waived the person i called was my house girl the third person I just told her, sioni nikikuja kwa nyumba leo. Akaniambia kwa nini? Kaambia mimi nimeshavunjwa mguu na wa majambazi. So akashtuka, this boy was still pressed feeding. Kasema sasa itakuaje mtoto nikamwambia Mungu atamlinda kwa sababu there's nothing I can do. Mimi naona leo nikilala usi mguu imevunjika. Out before tufike kwa ambulance, we had an explosion again. Sijui ni bullet, sijui ni nini karibu na sisi. Sasa nikaona tu tumelipuliwa sisi wote. Hawa watu waliniweka chini na wakanisingira wote, wakanifunika. Hiyo jioni nikafanywa first aid and then at midnight ndio nipelekwa theater. Kanifanya operation. Wakafunga mguu, wakaweka machuma na kila kitu. After she was discharged from the hospital, Rosalind struggled for months to get back on her feet to try and cater for her two children, but she couldn't until the community came to her aid. Weakness now, she cannot stand, she cannot draw water, she cannot do anything, but she was terminated. So our worries is how is she going to survive because uh, she's now deformed. And uh, she is now deformed, she cannot perform her duties accurately like before. So we don't know what will take place next because even up to now, I know as far as I know, she has not been compensated. Rosaline got back on her feet and tried to get her old job back. She was called by her former employer, but Rosaline, upon arrival, she received a termination letter. On the 18th of November, they called me. I was so happy. 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 
nikatoka hapa nikaenda the first thing nilikutana nayo termination ile itakuwa meza termination yeah kwa nini Imeandikwa termination of contract on of employment on uh, medical grounds. Rosalind says she was neglected and not compensated by the former employer, prompting her to seek help from the Labour Ministry in regards to her termination. Even as Rosalind awaits her fate from the Ministry of Labour in regards to the termination of our contract, Rosalind appeals to any well-wisher out there to come to her aid. Abdiaziz Ashimibru TV, Nairobi County.